my collective. This is Goddess Nicole Tara back to bring you another energetic read for my beautiful soul tribe and my handsome brothers and sisters. Okay. Y'all, um, I got a couple downloads here I want to share with you guys, but first I want to say this. I can be loud on this channel. I also can cry on this channel. I also can, um, Use profanity from time to time. It all depends on what energies I partake in and what energies I embody. With that being said, guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please be sure to do that. Sorry about that. Excuse me. Make sure this is right. <laughs> please be sure to do that. It helps us as a soul tribe grow. And it also helps us um, get out there to be seen. And the YouTube add the rhythms by potential soul trial members, okay? Um, thank y'all so much for the continued support of the channel. I love you guys, okay? With that being said, let's tap in here, y'all. Um, somebody threw you on the bus, collective. Somebody threw you on the bus, okay? Spirit is saying that you need to keep strong boundaries up with this person, okay? They're going to try to, to attempt to come back or try to reach out to you, okay? This could be somebody from your past year. Uh, that was not so good to you, okay? Spirit is saying the damage has already been done, okay? What has been done, okay, is, is, is done and over with, okay? Some of you guys have forgiven this person. Um, some of you guys could know who I'm speaking about, Okay? I just see sirens. I hear car radios like the um, police um, scanners. And I hear police like um, the radios that be in their cars and stuff. And I hear medics, the sound of sirens and stuff like uh, ambulance. So, yeah, y'all just be careful and keep y'all continue to keep strong, strong boundaries up with this person. I don't trust it. Okay. I'm just seeing all um, the blue, red and white colors and stuff like that from the uh, police cruisers, okay? I just, I, I don't sense a good thing off of this person. Y'all just need to be mindful, okay? I think this person wants to come back because they're they're carrying, they're carrying uh, heady, uh, heavy burdens, okay? They want you, they need your assistance. I think this is somebody that, Betrayed you. They threw you on the bus, but they need your help now. What kind of shit is that? The fuck? <laughs> no, it, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> you threw me on the bus. You betrayed me. Okay, you let that motherfucker run clean over me. So why would I help you? <laughs> that is foolish. Somebody is not thinking in their north node. That's for damn sure. Okay. Somebody needs a time out. I wrote that, actually. I said that somebody needs a time out. Look at that. Somebody needs a time out. The fuck? <laughs> You're not going to get somebody a hip and hand that betrayed you. Why would you want to do that? That's, that's, that's foolish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just looking at the first house. And, and the first house talks about the house, the house of self. Okay. This is associated with uh, self-image or the style of initiation, okay, uh, initiative and in how we perceive by others. This is somebody that I feel like collective, listen to other individuals when it pertains to you guys, okay? friendship relationship whatever partnership it was somebody listened to other individuals here okay this person could have made um a nice uh impression but as you you got to know this person they didn't have such a good impression they wanted to impress others instead of you or taking care of you in this uh connection you guys had uh whatever it was oh, let's see Child, <laughs> these people, <laughs> why do you always want to come back now? 
Okay, this could be your biggest motherfucking hater. Okay, somebody could be a hater that wants to come around. That's why spirit is telling you to keep up strong boundaries with this person because they're not to be trusted at all. <laughs> Matter of fact, this person, excuse me, my nose is just itching. Matter of fact, this person probably um, is the same person that also threw you on the bus, okay, betrayed you, okay? Also, with other individuals here, they also could be hating on you, child. You never know. You never the fuck know. What is this? Oh, something popped out here. Oh, this is why spirit is telling you to keep up your strong boundaries with this person collective. I have sex with multiple people for money, child. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> oh no. That's a mistake for no. That that is a big red flag for no. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody that makes smart decisions when it came to you. Oh wow, this came out. And somebody is mad. I told you. <laughs> I told you hater was under the bottom for a reason. Um, not only if this person is if you keep keeping up strong boundaries with this person collective, um this person is mad. <laughs> they mad because you're keeping up strong boundaries with them, okay? They can't get in, okay? Yeah, what did I say? Aggression is right up after that. Somebody is upset. Somebody is mad. I don't understand this person's logic, the way they think, okay? If somebody's acting out in their low vibrational self, that means they're, that this person or these Play, person place of things here that no longer serve your highest good this is why spirit is telling you keep up strong boundaries with this person because you are no longer aligned with this person y'all are not on the same motherfucking level the fuck and plus this person betrays you in the worst way this person did some damaging things to you that some of you guys probably don't even fucking know what this person else uh, what else this person has done this person definitely didn't make smart decisions at all this is somebody that has outbursts that you know act out in anger here aggression wow sex is a contract exchange so if you guys um you got to knock out this person's karma if you let down your guard with this person. And you let this person come back and do a um, sex, uh, sex contract with this person. Um, whatever karma that spirit has assigned this person, you're going to get it too. Okay? Don't allow this person to come back. Don't have sex with this person at all. Okay? That's going to give the go-ahead for um, you to receive this person's karma as well, okay? Choose wisely. Be safe. Be careful, okay, with this person because not only this person has sex for money here. This could be somebody that does a little strange things for some change, man. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. Y'all need to be mindful. This person is uh, done did a lot of shit and they're probably wondering if you know this is probably wow and this person lies a lot the ace of swords came out in the reverse okay <clears throat> for some of you this person could try to communicate with you through music okay for some of you guys some of you guys like music um this person could have tried to communicate okay somebody x is wanting to come back. That's what I figure. I'm pulling all of that, these cards out here. Somebody could be insecure. They could be shamed, embarrassed that you know so much. What is this? Child? And whoever this person was attached to, like karmics, they gone wild. <laughs> Somebody doing the most. Karmics is gone wild. <laughs> Oh, child. <laughs> so y'all excuse me, but I'm, I just cannot. This person does not have king status. This came out in the reverse. So this is not a king. 
okay? This person don't stand on principles, morals, or respect. And they don't stand on, okay, being the, their person, the, the authority figure of their life here. They let other entities, okay, people around them uh, control the way they think or, co or control their life, okay? This is not a king. What else is spirit? This is a lane. This is a lane. <laughs> they don't want you to have anything either. Child. So, this is a cop blocker, too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I just had to say that. I wish I could do some terror. This is a cop blocker. So this is somebody that also not only don't want to see you happy. You could have found out some truth about this person. This is a liar, habitual liar. This is what it's giving me. You know the truth. This card says you know the truth. The truth sells the truth shall set you free. Okay, you free from this person. You spoke the truth. Um, they can't take the truth. Okay, so this person can't take the truth. And they're angry that you got those strong boundaries up that spirit is telling you to keep up, okay? They don't want you to have anything karmics or going wild. So whoever this person has around them who they crave attention from, they going wild too because this person wants to start a contract with you again. Okay, <clears throat> they could be suffering from mental illness. That card came out before. Yeah, somebody is slow. The fuck? <laughs> ciao 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 just be mindful spirit is saying yeah that's why i'm hearing all those sirens you might have to call the police on these people because this person may do something drastic okay extreme cut off okay harsh you could some of you guys could have cut this person off harshly okay this person thought maybe you were gonna come back one day and chase them <laughs> some of you guys are like fuck no <laughs> we don't chase we replace period <laughs> that's what i just heard child y'all clowning on this person <sighs> yeah this person going through some financial issues here this person needs financial support from you this is why partly uh and partly that this person wants to come back this is what i'm picking up they may need some um and they may be facing some type of legal fees here, too, with the handcuffs here. Okay, it says child, alimony, and government. Yeah, somebody needs some report <laughs> after they done threw you on the bus. Mm, I cannot. The nerve of these people. This person could, could be, be a karmic, too, child. Yeah, happiness in the reverse. Yeah, this person is not happy. I told you, somebody is upset. But they're a liar here. This is an actor. <laughs> this person puts on a lot. <laughs> they lie a lot too. Yeah, some divine feminine. Yeah, they want to pack up their shit. They want to move in with you. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to feel about that. Somebody wants to physically change their location and come move with you, divine feminine. <laughs> Somebody is mad about that that this person even wants to start something back with you again even though you may not want them but whoever they're around they upset about that <laughs> that this person still loves you yeah somebody could have ghosted you blocked you or cut you off or this person has a third party or he has other individuals that he used to give attention to he done blocked and cut their ass off and they're mad okay these karmics are gone wild like girls gone wild they gone wild here your uh person may, may look good here handsome they may be also good in bed but this is the same person that threw you on the bus betrayed you and blocked you and cut you off okay but now they need your hand <laughs> they need your financial support here yeah but you've ascended away from this person you guys are on a totally different spiritual journey and level you're not on the same level as this person this busted child, I cannot. <laughs> Divine feminine, y'all are way ahead of this person. Uh, and I, I think this person knows that. They're aware. Okay, something has definitely came to the light about a situation. 
those lies that this person told, people are noticing that they're a big ass liar. <laughs> yeah, TikTok, TikTok, time is up. Time is definitely running out. This person try, may come back here swiftly, fast here. That's why I'm telling you guys, y'all are on your spiritual path. Y'all are awakening. Y'all are on totally two different levels. This person do not align with you anymore. I'm just being honest, being real, okay? I'm just being honest. I'm just being real, okay? This person may want to show you some receipts that they have gotten a divorce here with this alimony card out here. They may have went to court and divorced somebody and they have somebody... Or they may show you proof or something like uh, why they live or they on the verge to confess something to you. Okay, to show you some receipts that they're no longer with somebody, but this person has legal fees. There it is. I'm telling you, legal court paperwork. This may be your twin flame here, or it may not be. Okay, take it out of it resonates, but a twin don't throw the other twin under the bus, but they usually do that. Okay, they usually choose over you pick somebody else over you, especially a karmic twin. They even may have tag team up with the karmic that they had to come against you, divine feminine. That's what they do. Retaliation is here. Payback, punish, revenge. This person also has somebody on their ass that thought they were the divine feminine and thought that they were actually the twin flame to the, your person. That's why shit did not work out. Shit hit the fan because they do not belong with this other person. So they belong with you. You. This is your counterpart. But you have grown so much here that this person could be a little jealous of you that you have grew. You, you're not allowing this person to do whatever they want in your energy. You're shutting them down. And I don't blame you. This person is going through legal work. Yeah, this is somebody you had history with. Maybe a past life, okay? the past happened okay this is somebody you had a past with a strong history with that they are on the verge to confess because they do want to say something but they feel like they're running out of time here because your boundaries are set so high you got high standards now even though you may not have your you may not they may feel like you all that to them that's because they like you all that that's because this person is still acting out in their low vibrational ass self they have not did any work to heal they have not changed they still got karmic ass people going wild around them child thanking this person everything you guys could be single looking good over here this is why this person wants to come back your current your current status is available but that does not mean that you have not healed you are sending here okay this person still is not going to be on your motherfucking level if they do come back. This is a lame. <laughs> this is somebody that craves attention from the whores. Okay. Yeah, and they're threatened by you. What did I say? This person could be embarrassed. This person looks probably looks different. Their appearance may look different. And that's because this person has... this Whoever this person got in close contact with has definitely wore their ass out here you could be getting the signs synchronicities one 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 could be significant two 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 three 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 okay yeah let's get some tarot child i cannot i cannot with these people child why y'all want to come back all of a sudden now i don't get that like you had your fun out there you chose somebody else. Stay cool. Okay, that's what you wanted. Cool. We was down. We was like, okay, we finna go work on our motherfucking stuff. We ain't got time for the play. We ain't got time to play play. Okay, we finna get right. <laughs> Spirit is gonna prepare us for another union. And that's what some of you guys are finna get here. Okay. This person is just gonna have to accept their karma for how they treated you. And how they threw you under the bus here. And just move on with their fucking life. Heal themselves. Okay. Yeah. The high priest is in reverse. Yeah. He went towards somebody that um, uses their intuition for bad. Okay. This could have been a uh, person that held on to secrets. They're confused now. They have a blocked intuition. 
This person has hidden agendas when they do try to come back and confess. I told you this person is a liar. Yeah, they don't want you to have anything. They're a cop blocker too. <laughs> Somebody could do a lot of shit here. A Taurus could be um, your person or you guys could have it in your chart or you could be the Taurus, take it how it resonates. Yeah, Ace of Wands, see, they want to come back on that sexual shit. Excuse me, y'all. My battery's on 10. Um, they want to come back and, you know, get a you know place with you and live off your opportunities. You know, be passionate with you. Like I said, once you start that sexual contract, uh, <laughs> once you let this person play with, you know, stick you with that wand, you're going to get this person's karma. Okay, you need to keep your boundaries up. Okay? Because that's what he's coming back on. Being passionate. The one represents the male genitalia. Okay? It also represents uh, manifestations. And it represents being passionate. It represents um, inspiration. Uh, new opportunities. Uh, things to manifest into your life, man. Yeah, this person wants to come back because they know you the main manifester. Shit happens. Yeah. Nine of Wands. They feel stuck and stagnant. Somebody is sick too, so you need to be careful. This is just giving me sick energy with the nine of wands. Yeah. This person feels trapped where they at. They feel like giving up. They feel like you you are their only hope here. That's why they want to pack up and physically move to into your house. This could be a hobo energy here. Yeah, <laughs> nine of cups. What did I say? They want to come back and offer you some type of romantic offer child please this person is still out here in these streets nine of swords yeah i told you they want to rush back they're very ambitious about doing this page of swords because they watching you some of you guys could be single okay you could be in the single energy here and this person wants to hurry up and get back because like i said if this is your twin flame they do still have some type of um intuition okay they probably are receiving the signs and synchronicities also that you could be moving on moving forward with your life into a new another sold contract okay a counterpart contract they know this this is why they want to play cop bump they don't want you to have anything okay queen of wands there also there is a dark priestess here that is attached to this person leo aries or sagittarius here with the queen of wands that uses their intuition for bad they have a block uh intuition as well this person also um can be very vicious okay could be very materialistic here could also uh, be a gold digger too as well. Mm -hmm. Could be, you know, wanting your part of your fortune here too as well. They want this person to come back and drain you dry and bring it back to them. Child, I cannot. This is somebody who is getting bad karma here as well. All right. <laughs> Wheel of fortune in the reverse. Bad luck. This person cannot grow with this person. That's why they coming back in. They they know you are the master manifested. They can grow with you. That you can nurse them back to health and shit like that. Because you could be this person's twin. But this person then got over there and got drained. And they stuck with this queen of wands in the reverse, child. This is somebody who is very jealous, very manipulative. Okay. Dishonest. This is a liar too. Okay. They can be out here in these streets too as well. Eight of swords. Um, you left this person. You let them go. Yeah, you've been letting this go, okay? But that doesn't stop this person from wanting to come back. They're on a mission to get you back, but Spirit is telling you to keep up your guard. Focus, stay focused, move forward. This person didn't, didn't do any changing. When I think Spirit warned this person with the sign of synchronicities out here under the bottom of the deck. But this person did not listen. They moved on and started another contract with a karmic. That is not your fault. <laughs> you are not Captain Saber, ho. The fuck? <laughs> yep. What did I say? The high front. Yep. They married each other. Mm-hmm. The high priestess and the high front. In the reverse, there's two people that uses their intuition for dark. That's the masculine and feminine energies here. They both in the reverse. They both suffering. 
okay? This is somebody you let go a while ago. Could be up to eight years ago. <laughs> that's suffering bad luck here. That's getting karma. Yeah, nine of cups. They're not fulfilled over there. It's in the reverse. Child, they don't have any, any security with this person. They're disappointed in this person. They're unfulfilled. They're bored. They don't have any abundance with this person. They can't manifest anything here. Things are being turned upside down in this person's life. Two of Wands, there's no planning. There's no um, strategy. There's no goals. Okay, this is what I'm getting. Yeah, Two of Wands in the reverse, they're experiencing delays. Okay, this person is fearful probably of this karmic <laughs> I don't understand why because they say they on the same fucking level here <clears throat> when, it, when it pertains to having a block intuition both of them do bad shit this is somebody that bad that's bad at planning everything here child what else spirit yeah two of pentacles they are unstable they're facing some type of instability with their money their finances Okay, their the house is not a home wherever they are here. They could be losing a home here. <laughs> their finances is going down the fucking drain. Somebody could be seeing 999. Okay, yeah, the moon, yeah. A lot of spell work, a lot of fear, a lot of anguish. The moon in the reverse speaks about... Uh, uh, releasing fear, anxiety. You release some stuff too as well with this person. This is why spirit is telling you to keep up your boundaries. You did a lot of self-healing, okay? You trusting your intuition about this person, okay? <laughs> it was a lot of secrets here. I'm telling you, this person kept hold a lot of secrets, man. Yeah, Aquarius, you could be an Aquarius. That card keeps coming out. So you definitely could be a, a double Aquarius or these people could, this person could be attached to an Aquarius energy here. Taking out resonates here. That somebody who is very impulsive, stubborn, pessimistic, okay? Also can be clever, okay? Maybe this person loves you. You could be up in the Aquarius that this person loves. Okay, take it however resonate and want to come back to. Wow. Six of Cups. Yeah, somebody from your past that you had history with or past life. Okay, Spirit, give me a couple more to clown it, uh, crown it before I close out. King of Cups. They're so emotional. This person could be crying because they're so tired of this karmic. <laughs> They're looking at their life like, what the fuck did I do wrong, man? Like, what? And a magician. Wow, 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 wow. Somebody definitely into the magic. And somebody definitely is gossiping, running their mouth, looking at you, okay? Somebody, somebody needs to get some new perspective here. That's what somebody needs to do. Okay, you are the master manifester here. You you the one with the hidden power. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody wants to work on this love. It came on right on top of the Ace of Cups. Two seven of Cups in the reverse. Somebody is heartbroken here. Somebody released somebody here. Somebody is no longer confused. Okay, somebody could be um daydreaming. Okay, like I said. This person could be daydreaming about this relationship that he wants back with you, but you release this person, okay? These are both cards that talks about releasing, letting go, moving forward, moving on. That's what spirit wants you to do. I really hope this resonates with some of you guys. Uh, I hope it gives you clear and concise answers that you need, man. For real, for real, because this at this right here, yeah, I mean, this is somebody that you need to leave alone. Let's get one of these witches wisdom before we close it out. <clears throat> because this person had a choice. They chose to throw you under the bus. Oh, wow. What's this? Incubation. So, yeah, y'all went through some type of trans transformation. Y'all went into hermit mode and you did the work on yourself. Spirit is telling you to keep that up. That just popped out. We're going to get another one here. 
Y'all went through that process. This is what this person needs to do. And he needs to face that karma. Be a man. If you were a man to throw me under the bus, you need to be a man or a woman to stand in your motherfucking power. When you get this ass whooping, when you get that work from spirit, you need to go ahead and accept your karma. Okay? It says winter. Something could have happened in the uh, winter months. Okay? It says manifestations. Like I said, you are the big manifestation. You are the motherfucking gift. You were the gift. This person dumped you for karmic. <laughs> okay? Oh, this resonates. This is Goddess Nicole Terry. Thank y'all so much for supporting the channel. I thank y'all for giving me the gifts for my birthday. Thank y'all so very much for everything. Thank y'all. I appreciate you guys. I hope this resonates with some of you guys. Keep your boundaries up, okay? And I'm out. I love you guys. Bye-bye.